you let them in, they take advantage of the situation, they take advantage of the system, and what? I would only you know, be willing to take a family of the Ukrainians in if they were uh, a mother and sister and two daughters who were all bifocal, right, 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 and they were all <laughs> under 40, and they'd all got jelly wobblers the size of jelly Carol Vordenorks and are willing to line up <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, one by one, to give the Belfield and a give portion. You a good, and give you a good vertical smile. Absolutely. A bit of horizontal yes, jogging. Lovely. And then they have to pay me 350 quid a shag, and then I'll let them stay, and I'll give them <laughs> at least one day off a week. Uh, I want an indefinite contract, but like those government contracts, I can terminate it at any point should they downstairs look like a cauliflower or something like that, or a wizard's sleeve. You know what I mean? I, I, I can't really speak because it's it's very painful because I'm like, we received the first news and my family had to flee the country. They had to flee the, the city. They have had to leave there. Uh, like my father ha is left behind and it's the horror of waking up every day and not knowing if you, your city is going to be attacked by air, air missiles. And what happens in Chernigov, they, Alex, they have no regard in terms of uh, if it is civilian kindergarten, if it is the hospital with the, you know, the, the, for cancer treatment, they, they, they.